It's a regular old foe that people can't seem to rid of as the flu bug continue to cause concern around the island. The hospital has seen an influx of flu patients, but according to Chief Medical Officer Dr. Eddie Akawala, people need to be aware also of the symptoms. The main symptoms is uh, headache, generalized body ache, fever, generally feeling unwell. They have a blocked nose or a runny nose. They are sneezing regularly or coughing. Uh, they may have sore throat but, and they may lose their appetite. Uh, those are the things that um, uh, people will feel, but general feeling of unwell, that's what they will feel like. Since the arrival of the uh, group from uh, um, Numea on the uh, SPG Games, uh, there has been, the, we noticed that there is an influx of uh, flu patients coming to hospital. Last week, 50% uh, or more of the patients that we see in the outpatient uh, are suffering from the flu virus. Mm -hmm. And it's just a normal flu that we are talking about here. Uh, influenza, we mean, when we say flu, it means influenza. There are different types of viral illness or, or, or flu. Uh, but uh, we're talking about the common flu here that everybody knows about. Dr. Akawala said you might be able to identify the symptoms, but there also needs to be an awareness of how to maintain people's health. The advice that we give here to the patients who come through the hospital uh, is to take Panadol, whether it's liquid form or tablet, and rest. It's the main thing to do is rest, drink a lot of fluids, because they will get dehydrated and will, it will make the symptoms worse. And it will make the flu virus survive a lot more. And if they walk about, they can have a relapse. The immune system will drop so low and then it can't fight the virus of the normal flu. And it will make the body more sick than before. That's why it is important to drink a lot of fluid, rest at home, Take some Panadol if they have fever or generalized body ache or cold or something like that. If it doesn't get any better on the second day or third day, they must come and see a doctor mm -hmm. before it got worse. The hospital continued to advise people to rest and increase fluid intake, especially water. If you do not feel well after two to three days, please seek medical assistance. There is also confirmation from the hospital that there are no cases of swine flu or dinghy identified as some patients might have thought. The new visitor information centre in central Alofi opened its doors to tourists and the public yesterday with an array of fantastic displays and local products with some already snapped up by many who have visited the centre. According to tourism manager Hayden Porter, the centre opened yesterday and yesterday morning and the move has been positive. It's fantastic. I mean, uh, as you can see, there's already lots of people floating around and um, it's, uh, we opened at 8 o'clock yesterday morning and I think we had about 40 uh, visitors through um, even before lunchtime, which was great. Um, some local um, uh, produce and, well not produce, some local things being sold as well, some handicraft and, and bits and pieces, some jewellery which we haven't been able to s sort of sell before uh, as well which is great to see. Um, lots of tours and etc being booked and if you think about our old office and its capabilities on what we could offer to, to tourists um, in terms of the space, in terms of the information, um, absolutely nothing like what we've now got available. And, um, if you can imagine the 20 odd people that are behind me now fitting into our tiny little office before, it just wouldn't work. We had through uh, just under 100 people actually yesterday in terms of just coming and coming and going. Uh, and some people actually came back. I had one uh, couple come back three times throughout the day. Um, so in terms of visits, you know, it's hard to say. Some days we'll, we'll probably have three or four. Uh, through other days we might have, um, you know, 100 plus. Um, uh, certainly today, you know, we're already, um, we've already had sort of 50 odd through, I think, which is, which is great. And the nice thing is, before we walked into the office, had a quick look around and walked back out, often not book anything here, and this was the concept, 
Uh, it's an excuse for people to stay a little bit longer, ponder over things, watch a little bit of visual stuff, um, actually touch and, and, and feel some of the things that they might be um, experiencing while they're here. And, uh, and that in turn um, means it's more likely that they're going to actually book something. And we, we book uh, so many, well, there wasn't too many cars available, but we booked a lot of cars yesterday, bikes, tours, um, bits and pieces that uh, we know down at the other office we wouldn't have had the time to be able to, or the, the, the space to be able to actually um, uh, sell those properly and do them justice. Mr Porter said the tourism industry must develop because of the economic potential and the centre will support initiatives to expand the industry. The private sector has been fantastic. We've got small things arriving today from some of the um, shops up the road. And what it allows is, is that suddenly their shops that open two or three days a week are suddenly open six days a week and they've got products for sale. Some uh, that don't have any shops uh, and sell out of the you know, at the market once a week or twice a week uh, or just from word of mouth suddenly have an outlet where um, six days a week people can come in and, and, um, and have a look and taste and feel and, and bits piece. You know, the vanilla is a great example of, of that. There's not really any specific outlets for vanilla around but yet here we've got now vanilla sugar and oils and all sorts of things available which, uh, which people can um, take home with them. The Information Centre has many new end products provided by current retailers and suppliers. Those products include vanilla, handicrafts, artwork and much more, as well as services available on the island. The Visitor Information Centre will open from 8am till 4pm until the official opening when it is expected to open from 8am till 6pm. And staying with the tourism industry, the Pacific Showcase in Auckland. Two weeks ago, during the Pacific Island Leaders Forum, has been popular with over an approximate 50,000 foot traffic through its doors. In three days, it opened. The showcase featured many Pacific products and services to entice travellers to travel to the Pacific Islands or purchase their products. Niue had former Miss South Pacific, the beautiful Vanessa Marsh, manning Niue's products, and she said the benefits will be substantial. So the opportunity to attend the showcase was one where we could uh, display New Way as a emerging Pacific Island uh, destination and it was also an opportunity to get a bit more uh, promotional work out there in terms of the volume of the number of people that actually came through the showcase. So an estimated 40 to 50,000 people came through the showcase over the three days and um, I managed to talk with several, well a few hundred people that came through um, and there was a really good genuine interest about Niue, about people wanting to find out more about Niue, about people wanting to actually visit the island and it was uh, really interesting to meet those who were just here a few weeks ago or who actually have holidays booked to arrive in a couple of weeks and um, it was an also it was really good to see that all our promotional work that we've been doing since uh, late last year uh, quite a lot through the beginning of this year has actually uh, been uh, has actually come to fruition because a lot of people are now starting to hear a lot more about Niue in the media and that's exactly what we'd like them to do. Now, what is the most asked question uh, that people had for you during the three days? Well, some started off with uh, where is Niue? They wanted to know where it was, and it was really good to be able to tell them, you know, we're just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Uh, we're so close to New Zealand, which is why it makes us a perfect uh, destination. And then the next uh, popular questions was what can they do there? And quite a few of them had heard about the fishing, about the whale watching, and just about the whole cultural experience that they can get here in Niue and about it being really authentic and genuine and not commercialised as uh, what's becoming apparent in some of the other Pacific Island countries. Now the other really good thing that I found about the showcase was that I managed to touch base with quite a few of the Niuean visitors who came through the showcase. Um, families who hadn't been back to Niue since uh, their families migrated a couple of generations ago and they want to know more about Niue because they've been hearing about the changes that have been happening and they're getting 
quite curious and wanting to come up and find out or see for themselves um, how much change and development has been going on here in the island. So to speak to them was really good and to get their feedback. So we're hopefully um, going to see a lot more people coming through. Ms. Marsh said one of the highlights is having a celebrity assist the Niwe booth. We had Frank Bunce actually attend the showcase with me and he came and put in a couple of hours every day uh, just to be able to draw crowds more to our plinth. <coughs> uh, we also had Miss Niwe Aotearoa attend as well and she was also a, a really good draw card for visitors. Um, there's still quite the popularity of the Cook Islands and Samoa for example because they've been playing this game a lot longer than Niwe has so they've um, been able to tap out into those markets and we're still new and emerging um, but I have every confidence that we're going to be able to achieve uh, the status of, um, of how much people know about Niue as much as they have. The Pacific Showcase was hosted at the newly developed cloud venue on Queen's Wharf in Auckland. An excellent boost to media capabilities of workers in the industry can only be a benefit as different counterparts at a workshop on the island focus on improving skills on how effects can affect production with expert tutorial from animation and comp compositing master Holger Karsten. The one-week workshop is the second of three workshops on television and media production organized by Kilocuts Production House and BCN and funded by UNESCO Communications Fund. This one is based on Adobe Effect Effects, which is an industry standard compositing program widely used in television productions. The goal of the workshop is to boost capacity of BCN, kilocuts and other media and IT related entities, which should hopefully add another powerful tool to the editing arsenal. Also attending was Stuff IT and Little Looper Productions. One of the facilitators of the workshop said it was unfortunate that only a limited number of participants can join the ongoing initiative as there are only a few workstations available. One other workshop was held last year and another is due before the end of this year, completing the round of three production workshops. The final workshop will be an advanced level or after effects and will be held over consecutive weekends. And to end our news bulletin for tonight, Niue government is about to change its vehicle fleet for ministerial use. The old fleet with some over five years old and some 10 years are due for renewal and government plan to recover some of the costs through the tender process for the new fleet from overseas. The old fleet has four vehicles up for tender and five new vehicles are expected to replace them. All tenders has been called to close by 4 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. And that's our news bulletin for tonight. Don't forget also the women uh, handicraft from Alofi North will be on display tomorrow at their community hall in Alofi North. Everyone is invited to come along. That's our news bulletin. Good evening.